Thank you, Ms. Speaker. I ask the clerk to report legislative citation 30. Clerk, please report. Citation 30, Representative Dossett. Citation of heroism. The House of Representatives of the Commonwealth of Kentucky hereby recognizes and honors Kentucky's first responders, state and local government employees, and volunteers. General Christian. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This will be my final citation of heroism, and uh, they were not presented in list of importance. This citation honors our first responders, our state and local government employees, and our volunteers during the disaster that we've experienced. I'd like to share with you my experience of what I've seen. On Saturday morning about, uh, of December the 11th, about 2.30 a.m., there were two volunteer firefighters that came to my door. They were walking through the street through electric lines that were down, trees that were down, knocking on each door, asking to make sure that we were all safe. To them, I will remember their faces. Pembroke is a small, small community, and I know most everyone that lives there, but at that time, I don't know if I was paying that much attention to who I was looking at other than I saw those two fine young people and thank them for what they, I thank them so much for what they were doing. Share with you a couple of more examples. Phone call that I received from my wife yesterday. It was about one o'clock our time. And she called to say that all the debris in front of our home was gone. There was these big blue trucks coming through in our neighborhood, picking up the debris. Those were our county employees. And I watched our state highway employees doing the very same thing as they were picking up the trees that were destroyed and blown down and that we all had to cut in our neighborhoods. And I know they're doing it across Western Kentucky. And finally, the volunteers. Again, yesterday afternoon, I received another call from my wife. It was about 4.30 our time here. And she was so happy. There is a grain elevator that lies south of where I live and they had grain stored outside because they did not have the capacity within their grain bins to store over the fall because of our fantastic crop that we had. Large plastic tarps were over the top of that, huge and heavy. And of course with the tornado, they blew all over the area and they were in the trees and it was nothing easy. I watched our state employees trying to get these tarps down with uh, uh, front end loaders and no one could get them down. Yesterday she said, and she was so happy when she called, there were volunteers out with ladders that had climbed into the trees and they were cutting these tarps down. As I've said, each group whether it be our first responders, our government employees, our volunteers, our teachers, our school officials, each of these have allowed those of us who have lived through this tornado to allow, allow us to be able to have a semblance of normalcy return to our lives. I want to say thank you to each and every one who has helped us. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I move adoption. Without objection, citations adopted.